All right, hit that like and subscribe button. That helps us out a lot. I was finally able to get an Apex Rival scope. I've been bothering them for over a year to get this scope, and I'm so glad I was persistent because I absolutely love this scope. There's nothing about this scope I do not like. I'm not giving it back. I'm going to end up buying it and keeping it and putting it on my PRS rifle, and you'll see why. We're going to do a detailed review of the entire scope. We're going to show you some really cool first-person footage through the trigger camera. And if you guys want trigger cameras, I'll put a link below. They're awesome. So you get a first-person view of what it looks like shooting this on the range. We shot about 400 rounds through this, running steel from 200 to 1,000, back down, checking our zeros. It held perfectly, so tracking is great. The EP glass out of Japan is fantastic, perfectly clear. There's no uh, color fringing, no chromatic aberration around the edges, even at full magnification. Fantastic job they did with this. The thing is, when you get behind the scope, just everything feels right. The turrets, everything feels right. The magnification ring is one of the best I've ever felt. There's no play in anything, but watch the review. I'm getting ahead of myself. Watch the review. Let me know what you think, and please hit that like and subscribe button. More reviews coming soon. All right, quick rundown of the reticle. So you notice the center dot, which I love, and below if you're doing holdovers, you're going to have dots on the half mil increment, so you're not holding off into space there, and you have nice horizontal lines on the full mil increments. You have some ranging portions of the reticle on the vertical crosshair from four to five mils, you have fine increments, and on the five to six mils on the horizontal, you'll notice those lines. Those are for also for unknown distance ranging, and those go from 0.1 to 0.5 on top and below the center crosshair. They go from 0.6 to 1 mil. So if you're ranging something and you know the height of it, you're going to use those for quick reference. Here's those power lines again. We are on 20 power. So let's go through the range. Zoom all the way out. Okay, we're on four power. You can see just how tiny that reticle is. Super, super fine. And let's move it up to eight power. Let's get a clear view of the sky here. Now we're at 10. It's pretty usable right there. And 12, 16 power, that's a real good power. Find ourselves shoot most of the course that we run on about 15, 16 power. This way you have a nice big field of view. Let's go to 20 power. And I think the video of me shooting on the range, I'm at 20 power. Let's see if we clean that parallax up a little bit. that's good uh, let's get it fine-tuned in there best I could do on the camera boys all right and 24 28 and 32 that is some great power range <laughs> Alright, so here's a little bit of shooting. We're starting off with the video at 600 yards, and we ran the steel a couple of times back and forth from, you know, 200 to 1,000 yards, back and forth, and we came back, rechecked our zeros. It tracked absolutely perfectly. You can see in the video we had a little bit of left to right wind, uh, a lot of chatter in the background. A lot of people at the range that day, but she tracked absolutely perfect. I'm not going to run this video forever. I'll show you one run through. Uh, that was 700. Here's 800. I'll show you one run through to 1,000 yards, and then we'll, uh, we'll call it quits on the video. There. All right, 800. Good hit. Again, I just, I love the reticle, especially at this power. Again, I think this was between 16 and 20 power. That dot is still super fine. I can take a super fine hold. Yeah, that was a good hit right at about the 10 o'clock on the target. And we'll finish up this portion with this last hit of the thousand, and then we will show you some close-ups of the scope and get into the details. So... Come on, let's get that last shot off, and 
Fire dead center. All right. Very good. Let's get into the detailed portion. All right. Here is a nice close-up view of the rival. In case you haven't seen one in person, we're going to give you a nice detailed view. You're going to get that 56 millimeter objective. You're going to get a 34 millimeter main tube with 32 mils of adjustment. Here you go. All right, jumps right out at you. The knurling on every one of the knobs, even the eyepiece. Fantastic. Got a great feel. I'm going to make a very bold statement and say this is the best feeling magnification ring I've ever felt. It is buttery smooth, but with the perfect amount of tension and the throw level that comes with it absolutely perfect i'm trying to think of one a scope that i felt that's better and man we've we've messed with hundreds of different scopes this is about as perfect as you can get outstanding job gentlemen all right elevation we said 32 mils of total elevation the turret listen to those clicks super positive no play in the turret at all. 15 mils of elevation per rotation. That is huge. So your 6.5s or your 6 millimeters is going to get you well over 1,300 yards in most atmospherics before you ever hit the zero again on your second rotation. But if you happen to hit the second rotation, this little knob pops up and lets you know, hey, dummy, you're on the second rotation. Make sure you dial back down. Sticks up just enough to let you know you're on the rotation. Kind of reminds you of the chamber indicator on a Glock that sticks out. I don't think I'd want it sticking up anymore. May get caught on something, but great thing about 15 mils of elevation is if you're looking down the scope, you're shooting a PRS match. I can see from three mils all the way to eight mils. So if you're shooting a multiple yardage stage, you can acquire those numbers so quickly because you can see such a wide area of the of the elevation knob. So acquiring targets is super, super fast. A parallax knob, 15 yards to infinity. So shooting close up, you're gonna get that nice target focus if you have a 22 or air rifle, what have you. Again, six illumination levels with an off in between. It's ED glass, fantastic. We didn't get any color fringing whatsoever. They say 97% light transmission, which is fantastic. And you'll notice the second you look through it, weighs in around 37 ounces, I believe. We're gonna show you how to set the zero stop, but I'm gonna make a, a really, really bold statement. So you guys know I would, I never really recommend a scope in the $2,000 range. To me, it was always like a weird, a weird number. It's like either spend a thousand bucks or jump up, save a few extra bucks and jump up to that 3,000, 3,500 top tier. Well, I'll tell you what, this scope is right up there with the $3,000, $3,500 scopes. I would probably pick this and save some money. Everything about this scope just feels awesome when you're behind it. First of all, the tracking was dead on. We're going to clip in some videos of shooting on the range. Absolutely spot on. The glass is awesome. Top tier glass. The levers, just perfect. 15 mils of adjustment per revolution is it's just huge it's got so many great features that you don't even find in some of those high level scopes the christmas tree reticle is perfect and we'll show you a close-up view of that so uh, i'm supposed to give this one back but i have a feeling i'm going to keep this and put it on my personal rifle so i ain't going to shell out my money to buy it and if you're in the market and that's what you got to spend, I this will now be my recommendation. I think it's that good of a scope. Again, just once you get behind it, everything is just everything just feels right. It tracks right. The glass is just is dynamite. And again, just the 15 mils of elevation per rotation and just the feel of everything. Well, well worth it. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set the zero stop too. That's that's another huge plus. All right, setting the zero stop really just couldn't get any easier. It comes with the Allen wrench. You're gonna just loosen these three screws, pop the cap off, spin it to zero, push it back down, 
and tighten the cap back up. It, it really is that easy. So let's get in here. Let's do that. Now I'm gonna have to re-zero when I get to the range. I didn't pay attention to what I what I was on. All right, we're gonna tighten these back up, and then I'm gonna show you another great thing, which I don't know why other companies don't do this either. All right, so I'm gonna show you here. Once you're on your zero, you have, I think it's three, three clicks below zero in case the atmospherics change and your zero shifts. So fantastic. So there's your zero stop. You go back to zero and you're good. All right, that's it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're gonna order a scope, you tell them Ghost Firearm sent you. Maybe they'll send you one of these really cool shirts. I don't know, maybe. Worth the shot. Get a free shirt. It's a great shirt. That's good. Like the material. Barry Production.